Hello my gorgeous water signs and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. We did have a few jumpers this morning. We have the Four Swords, the Magician, um, and what this tells me first right off the bat is that someone is trying to daydream up a way to kind of manifest you. They want to manifest. They have all the tools necessary, but it's like, what do we do first? How do I, how do I use all the tools that I have to get this water sign? Um, or to get this water sign to notice me because I kind of feel like this is someone who wants to sneak in your direction. It's like you're just going to turn around one day and they're going to be standing right there and they're like, what? I've always been here. It's It's got that energy. They're sneaking. They may be sneaking away from something else to kind of sneak in towards you. Um, I do know they're coming in quietly. They've done their homework as far as spying to see what you've been up to, maybe to see if you're with anybody or... Um, if you're single or maybe you're starting to date around, I feel like that could lead to some sleepless nights because when it comes down to it, this is what the person wants. Um, this person coming in, they have arrows of love and passion for you. They really want to, oh wow, they see you as the empress. They see you as the nurturer. They also want to nurture this. Oh, the devil's here, so there's an intense amount of sexual attraction. Um, there just hasn't been any forward movement. And I feel like this is someone who, yeah, this person is single, um, so that's a plus. Um, I do love to see that they're coming in in a single way, that they're not sneaking out of another relationship. I just feel like they're sneaking in a way, maybe in case you decide to tell this person they're not what you're looking for, then they don't have to face like a public rejection. It would be bad enough from you specifically, but I think this person's trying to avoid a very public, um, a very public nope is what I hear. Um, okay, so balancing things out. Right. I feel like that's where this person wants to go. That's why that magician energy is down here at the bottom here. They're trying to manifest an opportunity with you. They're trying to sneak in quietly. Um, yeah. I feel like they just know you're one of their ships and they're waiting for it to come in. It's like to this person, you're a big part of their future or they just feel that you are. I feel like, um, they already know you're supposed to be there. They have that feeling, and I feel like they're following that. I'm looking at this on the back here, and it almost made me think of like a ship's compass, and then it kind of tied in here. It's like this person's been steering in your direction for quite a while. Yeah. You know, they might have been busy with other things. It could have been job. It could have been, you know, trying to get all the priorities in order so they could step towards you confidently. I feel like a lot of people try to do that. They get all their ducks in a row so they can feel comfortable enough approaching someone that they view as or deem as high quality, high value person, right? Um, yeah, it's a lover's thing. They really want, they've made that choice. Um, that they want to come in your direction. They're hoping that you'll be able to make a choice to have that. Yeah, they, they see you as this queen of wands. They know they could be emotionally fulfilled with you, water sign. I really love this. Um, it looks like this person, like I said, they've done their homework. Um, I do feel like this person has really looked into you. Yeah, they deem you as a soulmate. There's a connection there. They just know it. They just feel it. Yeah. And they've been waiting around trying to get this all situated so they feel comfortable enough to move forward. They may have been waiting for you to make a move. I feel like once they realize that you weren't, I feel like that might also be where that, um, where is it? Oh, it's in there somewhere. Um, this, sorry, the sleepless nights. Um, it's like that might be where it came in. They realized that you weren't coming in their direction. They were actually going to have to not put the effort in, but um, I feel like step outside of a comfort zone is what I want to say. Not that they're afraid of putting the work in. If someone is interested and available and they're looking at them, I feel like this person has no problem putting in the time, the effort, the energy, right? But I feel like this is the thing. They're not sure if um, you're interested in them. It's maybe you were and maybe they think maybe you're not now. There's something that that's kind of transpired here where this person yeah it would be like lovers from the grave it would be rising this up again perhaps there was time in between um then whenever that time period was to now 
yeah, because I was getting in the beginning like, what, I've always been here. It's like I never actually left. And I feel like this person did. Maybe they walked off in a different direction, maybe stepped into a different relationship or stepped into something that they wanted to accomplish. So it could have been a goal, a hope, a dream. Um, I do feel like this person maybe has always kind of kept tabs on you quietly. Um, but I feel like they wanted to step into their emperor. Yeah, they have that message of love. And I feel like that's what it took. I feel like wherever they went, they learned lessons, whether it was with somebody else or just throughout life and life's journey. But they've become this emperor of sorts. And I feel like they're, they're ready to speak that truth. They're ready to give it a try. But I do feel like, like I said in the beginning, they don't want to risk um, something happening in front of everyone and I feel like that's why they're kind of sneaking in quietly yeah um I hear ready to go to war for you I feel like ready to step in um yeah. I do feel like this person wants a commitment here I feel like that's the goal that's the wish the hope the dream yeah they're just hoping that you don't say no yeah because they could see it going the long haul they can see this ten of pentacles with you I really love it, Water Signs. I feel like you have someone coming in who is more on the serious side uh, within the next seven days. I feel like you could see them just kind of reappear. I hear poof. <laughs> I hear poof. What do you need? I don't know if this person comes in um, asking you if there's anything that you need. What do you need them to do? Um, it's like, and I hear what? I've been here all along. So it, it's got that energy. Um, and they may have. They may have been holding back and watching from afar and kind of keeping tabs. Like I said, I feel like they're keeping tabs. I feel like this person's always been very uh, sexually attracted to you as well. Um, maybe that was something that kind of threw them off. Um, not that it's not a good thing, but I feel like maybe it was a frightening thing for this person. Maybe they liked you too much or they felt they liked you too much. But I feel like when it comes down to it, this is what we want. We want that ten of, ten of pentacles. We want to take this into the future with some stability, uh, some longevity. I love it. I think it's great. Okay. All right. What do we have for these water signs? Your initials, their initials. Oh, we have a B and a V. I heard Victoria. We'll do a little more. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're going to come in and pretend like they've always been there. Very interesting. You know, and I hear maybe they just didn't let you know that. And I feel like that could be the case, that they've always kind of been hanging on. I see something about pins. Um, so... Yeah, this could be something like, uh, if you have a Pinterest, they might have been following your pins, like just kind of silently following uh, to see what you're into or what you're interested in or uh, the things you like. So that could be for someone too. Um, you know, it's really like outside of the thought because you're not actually, you know, maybe writing things or posting up your thoughts or where you are or what you're doing, but it's like maybe they could gather just even that much more. I hear intel. I don't know if this person had other people looking into you as well. Could be. I hear a dot, a pinpoint on the map. I don't know if this person's really been keeping tabs. Like, I don't know if they have people kind of watching or keeping an eye out tabs um, on you. I feel like if you show up at a certain place or when you leave the house where, you know, if anybody sees you out, it's like, are you with someone? Um, are you staying home? Have you been a homebody? So maybe you've been, you know, in the same pin dot, you've not moved. Um... I feel like this person's been really looking to see, to make sure, I feel like they really want to make sure that you're not seeing someone before they put themselves out there. I feel like that's what it is. That they, They're hoping you're not seeing somebody on the quiet and, you know, that they don't come in feeling foolish or, you know, looking stupid. So it's it's got that energy. All right. Now, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. I do kind of sense that back and forth energy there. So it doesn't matter what side you're on. Okay, let's see. What do we have for these gorgeous water signs today? What do we have for water signs? Okay. Well, we have spirit on deck, which I love to see. Huh. I feel like 
you might have some type of ancestor watching over as well. Masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. I keep on hearing something about uh, De Los Muertos. So it could be something along those lines as well. It could be some type of heritage, uh, someone from that side of the family or um, a connection there. Um, I just feel like maybe this is someone you know comes to visit you a lot. It doesn't even have to have that background, but I feel like this is you knowing who it is that comes to visit you or that looks over you. I feel like you know. If that's for you, very clearly know who it is. I hear quietly watching over you. Um, and I also hear quietly coming towards you. Like I said, that person wants to sneak in. Um, I feel like this person's very stubborn and I feel like it's actually going to be to their advantage. It could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be. I'm also hearing Aries because I'm seeing the horns, doesn't have to be. But I do feel like uh, this person is very stubborn. Um, and I feel like it works to their advantage. Um, because they don't, they're really resilient. They don't give up very easily. It's like this could go the long haul because this person's willing to put in the effort. Um, they're looking to clean up the past. So for some of you, there could be something, maybe certain words that were spoken or words that were spoken that were taken out of context. It's like just wanting to sweep those away to clear up that past. It may be something very light. Could have been some heavier energy that needs to be cleared as well. This I feel like for some, very, very few could be someone you dated in the past. Um, I feel like for the majority of you, and I wouldn't say 99.9% .9 of you, this is somebody new. This is someone you've never dated. It doesn't have to be someone you don't know from your past, because I feel like this person's been around before, but it's just not someone that you have a very big history with uh, that's kind of coming in here. I feel like this person wants to comfort you. They want to nurture you. Um, they want to wrap you in a bear hug. This person may be really big on hugs. I think everybody should be big on hugs. Hugs are vastly underrated in my humble opinion. Um, let's see. Oh, look. <laughs> Here's the ram. Okay. So it's like I, I was getting Aries and Taurus. So that did show up here. Um, yeah, a new life within a life. I feel like to, the two of you also, uh, we have that twice. I do feel like there's good luck coming in, but I feel like the two of you are a match. You're very much alike, and I feel like um, both of you are probably whole, all on your own, and looking to move in the direction of stability. I feel like both of you could have already started to develop your own... Uh, your own something in business. So uh, your own stability here seems to be a thing, which I like, or both of you are creating that or in the process of creating, could be something like that. You know where you're going. Um, and I feel like spirits on deck with that as well. For those of you where this relationship doesn't resonate, I feel like monetarily, you guys are going to be doing very, very well this week. I feel like you do have maybe um, an influx of money or opportunities coming in, opportunities to make big money um, could be coming in within the next seven days. Love to see that. Um, I also want to extend it to the Aries and the Taurus. If there's an Aries or a Taurus cross-watching, this could be for you as well. <laughs> okay, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Off Yukis Tribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!